Hey, what's up? It's Timothy with another vlog episode. Uh, this episode I'm guest starring my cousin Max here and the Bony Pyro. So, uh, yeah, say hi. Okay. Alright, just some personal vlog stuff. Uh, thanks to everyone who wished me uh, good luck and thought about me while I was getting my wisdom teeth pulled. It was smooth, good, clean operation. Uh, I've healed up pretty well from that. Uh, as you can see, I mean, we be doing pretty well. Really, not much interesting has happened other than getting my wisdom teeth pulled. Except that I've watched Transformers 3 like, I don't know, five times since the last vlog episode. Good movie, you should check it out. Also, oh, I should be obvious, we're in a different location. I mean, this definitely isn't my room. We're sitting down, we've got this freak and the bunny. But uh, yeah, this is just a temporary thing. Uh, yeah, tell me if you like it, if you hate it, if you think the lighting is terrible. I think it is. For any of you who keep track of Five Gum, they have a relatively new flavor, Swerve. It's actually a pretty awesome flavor. This guy suggested a tradition where every episode I review some sort of product, so that's the tradition. Here's the product. Anyways, to the video. Okay, so here's a video of, I believe, the coolest way ever to solve a Rubik's Cube. I mean that seriously, ever. I mean, this beats solving it with your feet, solving it with chopsticks, ever. I mean, this definitely gets a like a boss on it. So, uh, here's the preview. Uh, you can check out the whole video there, it's a pretty awesome video, or you can watch the preview, which I'm going to be showing most of the preview, right, yeah. This is Mackie on June 30th, Not too bad. A couple interesting things. Notice that he always brings the cube to eye level when he looks at it and then he drops it back to about hip level to solve it. Uh, it's a similar technique used by people who solve Rubik's Cube blindfolded, except they do it in one shot. He's doing it in multiple chunks. So he messes up with the juggling a little bit right here, but he still does pretty good altogether. Also, he throws the cube in and juggles it once he finishes, so that's pretty cool. So I would rate this about a 7 on the woe factor. It's pretty good, but uh, yeah, so check the whole video out for yourself. Tell me what you think, and uh, so yeah, next video. All right, so this next video. What would happen if you crossed the craziness of Japan with the awesomeness of pool tricks? You get an awesome, crazy Japanese pool guy who knocks balls off of Coke bottles, through wine glasses, and past each other. He knocks quarters into cups, curves them, and hits them in a crazy long line. These are Japanese pool tricks, and they're awesome. Okay, that was, um, all right, um, okay, so let's rate this video at like an 8, even though it's older than Jesus. All right, well, thanks for watching this kind of short episode of the iOS vlog. Uh, thanks to my cousin Max for pitching in, he's a pretty cool bro. And uh, thanks to my bunny, Pyro, he's, he just did an awesome job in general, you know, he stole the show. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope to see you again next week. kind of hard to do with this. I can't have it. Oh crap, I forgot to turn the volume up earlier. I'll have to jack that up in post. Quick scan something to do a survey. You can try on your YouTube screen. Nah, screw that. Who's this duck? Show it to the camera. <laughs> Dude, this guy is cool with anything. He's the coolest rabbit. Hey, what's up? It's Timothy again. Oh my Max! And here's a new vlog. What's up? It's Timothy again. He's here. Uh, he's What's so funny?
should just get Star the Rabbit, because he doesn't laugh. If we have a blooper reel, it's going to be longer than the movie.